To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Friends, now let us look at the next question. The market received rumor about ABC Corporation's tie-up with a multinational company. This has induced the market price to move up. If the rumor is false, the ABC stock price will probably fall dramatically. To protect from this, an investor has purchased call and put options. Why did he buy call? He could have just bought put, no? We don't know, we'll see. He purchased one three-month call with a strike price of rupees 42 for 2 rupees premium and paid rupees 1 per share premium for a three-month put with a strike price of 40. Determine the investor's position if the tie-up offer bids the price of ABC Corporation stock to 43 in three months and if the tie-up fails and the price of the stock falls to 36 in three months. They said dramatically it will fall. What is dramatic from 43 to it has come down to 36 only. It is a 20 percent fall but then it is not so dramatic. Anyway, what is it that we have to write down or what is it that we have to understand? Let us put all the data into the excel sheet and then automatically we will get everything. Let us fill up the data. Is the current spot given? No, current spot is not available. Okay. So, same like previous problem, type, call, put, action, both are buy. Okay. Then strike price for a call option. Three month, he purchased one three months call option at strike price of 42. Okay. And put option, what is the strike price? He purchased a call option at uh, strike price of 42. What is the premium? They said the premium is 2 rupees. Okay, so let me change it to 2. Then he purchased a put option with a striking price. They said striking, it is actually strike price. Okay, so strike price of 40 and premium was 1 rupee. Okay, he purchased it for 1 rupee premium. Then Determine the investor's position if the tie up, if the tie up, that is that whatever the tie up with a multinational company, if the tie up offer, that is if the tie up offer, hap tie up happens and because of that there is an offer for shares or something like that, then bids the price, bids the price means increases the price. What do you mean by bid and ask? If you remember, I told you this earlier also, you will learn this in subsequent chapters also. Bid means Somebody makes a bid means they are trying to give you a price. They are offering a price. They are quoting a price. Ask means what is the price at which you are selling? They are asking you. Okay. So, here the, the tie-up offer bids the price. So, it basically moves up the price. It takes up the price to 43 Okay, in 3 months. So, what are the duration or expiry of options? Expiry in months 3, 3. Okay. And what did he say? Determine the investor's position if the type offer bids the price of uh, ABC Corporation stock up to 43 in 3 months. So, case A. Case A, closing price goes to 43. Let me copy the same thing here. Okay. Closing price goes to 43. Then, Determine the investor's position. What do you mean by position here? It is a three month option. After three months, they have given the price. So basically, they are asking you profit or loss. Okay. So you purchased a call to buy it at 42. Already the market is at 43. Will you buy from the market or will you exercise your option? You have a right to buy at 42 or you have can buy it from market at 43. What will you do? You have a right to buy at 42, you will exercise the right. So gain on gain or loss, gain on option, gain or loss on option. You will not have a loss on option, only the premium is the loss. You will never make a loss on option because if it is a loss making position, you will not exercise the option. So, this is 43 minus 42, that is 1 rupee. You are making a 1 rupee gain on the option, okay. They never said number of stairs, number of stocks like previous question, so it is 1 rupee only, okay. Uh, then uh, what happens to the put option here? You have a right to sell at 40, you have a right to sell at 40, whereas the current market price is 43. You might as well sell it for market price which is 43, no? why will you even exercise your put? So from put option, the value that you will get is actually 0. 
put option there is no benefit. So, gain or loss if you say if you call this as a total column it will be 1 rupee plus 0 it will be 1 rupee ok and less premium paid. What is the premium that we have paid my dear friends? He has paid a premium of 2 rupees plus 1 rupee that is 3 rupees minus 3 rupees it is minus 3 rupees. So, net gain or loss is 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So, I will highlight this in a different color so that you understand it well. Net gain or loss in first case is he basically makes a loss of 2 rupees. I will call this as case capital A ok. So, I will highlight this also so that it is very clearly visible. Now, coming to case B right I will copy this entire set there and paste it case B. What is the closing price? Closing price is 36. Now, in this option you have a right to buy at 42 market price is 36. Will you exercise the option? Absolutely no. There is no use of exercising the option. So, the value will become 0. Then put option you have a right to sell at 40 market price is 36. So, you are basically making a gain. Why? You can buy from the market at 36 and sell to this person at 40. So, you will make 4 rupees gain. So, this if you put this as a function it is 0 comma your strike price minus your closing price in the market whatever is it on that day. So, you make 4 rupees as the uh, gain from put option whereas for your uh, premium what you have paid you have paid a premium of 3 rupees. So, your net gain or loss after adjusting this 3 rupees premium and 4 rupees gain on the put option is 1 rupee gain. So, in case A you make a loss of 2 rupees and in case B you make a gain of 1 rupee. Is that what they are asking or are there any other subsequent things, any other twists in the story? No, there are no other twists in the story. So, this is the answer. Net gain or loss in case B is this, net gain or loss in case A is that, ok. Ok, now if you make assumptions that you know each call option is for somebody number of shares, they have not given any of the data. If any such data is given, you will multiply the 100 uh, shares or you know if each option is for 100 shares, then you will multiply this number by 100. If each option is for 1000 shares or if each option is for 50 shares, you will multiply with whatever that particular specific lot size is. If no lot size is given, we can compute it per option assuming that you can write an assumption. Each option, each buy or each uh, call stroke put option is for 1 share of ABC limited. If you make this assumption it is fine. If you believe that or somewhere it is given it is 100 then you can multiply it by 100. That is it. That ends this question.